Welcome to the Extreme Vision Parallel Vlog. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to the team who is Extreme Vision Paranormal. I'm going to go over what we want to do with this vlog and what we're trying to do with this vlog and why we need your guys' help. Extreme Vision Paranormal is a group of paranormal investigators. We've been collectively investigating for over 10 years. We investigate all over the United States. At Extreme Vision Paranormal, we are not focused on competing with other investigation groups and investigators. We're not competing for who has the most investigations and who's investigated the most locations. We are trying to network with other groups paranormal enthusiasts, and we're trying to move the paranormal field forward. We have helped many people and many businesses gain insight and feel more comfortable with their specific situation. And remember, Extreme Vision Paranormal does not use psychics, we do not use Ouija boards, and we do not cleanse homes. I was going to introduce everybody on the investigating team, but I am not going to do that today. I'm going to do that in a later video because we are working on adding two new investigators to the team today and tomorrow we are interviewing them. And I'd rather introduce everybody at once as a team than break them down and separate them. What are we going to do with this vlog? We're going to bring a new element to the paranormal field. How are we going to do that? I am going to take some of our data that includes videos, audio, and pictures. I'm going to take those, put them up on this vlog, and I'm going to paint a picture for you. Right now, you might not agree with what we see. You might not agree with what we hear. I'm going to take that piece of data and I'm going to describe how we determined that it was paranormal, how we tried to debunk it. Um, I'm going to maybe use some audio from different recorders, maybe bring up some DVR footage. I'm also going to bring up how we investigate some of the theories that different people on the team have and maybe stories from investigations, uh, news from our team as well as other teams. Everything I just said, we want to do for you as well. If you've got stories, if you've got theories, if you've got ideas, if you've got data that you capture, no matter if you're a paranormal investigator or you're just a paranormal enthusiast or you were afraid of something in your home and you captured it by yourself and you want to bring that to us, that's what we're here for. We want to take that stuff, we want to put it up on this blog, just like I said, and we want to discuss it with the users and the viewers. I'm going to give you an idea of what we're looking for at this vlog. Don't get me wrong, everybody can have different ideas and everybody can believe different things. There's things I don't believe. I don't believe in orbs, for example. There is nothing to me about an orb that seems paranormal. To me, it looks like dust. Or if you have a way that you can determine whether an orb is an orb and a piece of dust is a piece of dust, if you've got somewhere to draw that line, then let me know. Another example of something that uh, I personally believe in, and that is that EVPs should be captured, reviewed, and presented in a very raw fashion without editing it by slowing it down 300% or raising the volume levels a thousand percent or isolating certain hertz or certain frequencies, then to me that's not paranormal. You can take any noise and you can edit it and make it seem paranormal. If you listen to anything multiple times, you can make it sound like something. Our brains are designed to take a sound and turn it into something that we understand. It's just the way the mind works. We're kind of looking more for the ghost hunter enthusiast versus the ghost adventures enthusiast. They're both just entertainment. That's all they are. Do ghost hunters have some things on their show that are fake? I don't know. It's possible. I'm not here to determine whether they're fake or not. I enjoy the show. They kind of keep that um, professional um, integrity of an investigator. They keep it real on investigations. Now, if you take Ghost Adventures, for example, that show is nothing but entertainment to me. Don't get me wrong, I watch the show because it is very entertaining. These guys run around like a bunch of crazy people. <laughs> They take EVPs and they do things to them that, they, I mean, even after they edit these things, I don't hear what they say. Not to mention every one of their EVPs is some evil voice saying, kill Zach, or get Adam, or some crazy stuff. It's like I don't even know where they come up with this stuff. Orbs flying into Zach's head or into his back and him getting sick and him getting possessed. Just at this time, I began to feel 
slightly disoriented. A little nauseous and sick to my stomach. Also, I was getting angry towards the other guys, and I felt as if there was something else in my body. I believe that at that moment, I was possessed. Like my pecs are looking at me a little bit big. <gasps> We're trying to get the ball rolling on these videos and we need your guys' help, so please click the subscribe button. Please email me, the link's in the box below. You can also hit us up on Facebook, you can hit us up on Twitter, we are working on Google+. Please stick around for these videos, we promise to bring more content. Any questions, any ideas, email me. Another thing we're going to do is I'm going to ask you guys questions. You guys can answer those questions in the comment box below or you can email me with the answers to these questions and we will talk about them. Based off of what we talked about with today's video, my question is going to be, how do you guys review and present your EVPs? This was an Extreme Vision Paravlog, and until next time, keep saying...